Dragon's Dogma 2 is a cool game, but its graphics are often criticized by many as being dull and washed out. Some would argue that it's the art direction, but let's be honest, there is a lot of room for improvements. Hi guys, this is Ultimate Graphics and today I'm going to show you the best graphical mods which take Dragon's Dogma visuals to the next level. Let's jump into it. The first and most important mod you will need is Reframework. This is a complete modding tool which lets you not only modify hidden settings of the game but also allows the configuration of other mods. You can download it from Nexus Mods or GitHub. After downloading and extracting, copy the dinput8.dll file into your game folder. The next mod is Fluffy Mod Manager. Many mods require this external mod manager. Unzip wherever you want and put the pack files into FFM Games Dragon's Dogma 2 mods folder. After running the application just simply toggle the mods you want to use. Graphics Suite is a modding tool for customizing almost every aspect of the game's graphics. After downloading and unzipping, copy the Reframework folder into your game folder. Quality Raytracing is a nice mod to improve in-game raytracing resolution and denoising. Copy the extracted Reframework folder into your game folder. Texture Patch Skin Update and HD Texture Overhauls both improve the game's textures by upscaling them to higher resolutions. Copy the pack files into your Fluffy Mod Manager mod folder and enable them in the application. Since these are texture files they tend to be pretty big so be careful with your storage. And that's it. You have successfully installed the most important mods for Dragon's Dogma 2. There are several other visual and gameplay improvement mods out there on Nexus Mods. Feel free to experiment. Alright, let's get into the game. Once your character is loaded, press the insert key to open Reframework menu. You can enlarge it and set the size of fonts for better manipulation. Also you can customize hidden settings like vignette, field of view and completely hide the in-game interface. First off, we take a look at improving the in-game ray tracing. To modify ray tracing and path tracing simply tick the box next to enable ray tracing tweaks in the graphics submenu. The game uses ASVG F-type ray tracing as default. To increase ray tracing resolution, scroll down to script generated UI, quality ray tracing part. Moving the slider to 1.0 increases the ray tracing resolution to 100% from the default 40%. This way you can get rid of shimmering and halo effect around objects. Another useful tool is the remove post process option. You can find it under script generated UI, graphic suite, Components, LDR, Post Process Options. This removes the default greenish-bluish overexposed filter and chromatic aberration effect, giving the game a darker, warmer, and more natural look, ideal for reshade adjustments. Reframework offers two options for path tracing, hybrid path tracing and pure path tracing. While both looks beautiful and realistic, they introduce noticeable noise to the image when bounce count is increased from 0 to 1. 
But don't worry, there are a few ways to reduce this noise. The first is increasing sample per pixel count, however this really massacres your performance. Increasing your resolution or using better quality upscaling are also good choices. The best one is however adding ray trace clone type options over your main ray trace type. This is done by selecting ASVGF for the second and or third drop down menus. You can use for both at the same time but will lighten up the shadows too much so I prefer to only use one. The noise can be really distractive in dark areas like forests and rooms where light meets shadows. It's less obvious in open terrain, especially in sunny weather. Pure path tracing is the most realistic looking option, but also the heaviest on performance and adds even more noise than hybrid path tracing. As you probably noticed, pure path tracing have somewhat dull reflections. This can be fixed in graphics suite, under streamline settings, enable fixed PT sun option. Here you can fine tune the intensity, bounce and reflections of the sun, achieving truly immersive sunshine. The difference between hybrid path tracing and pure path tracing are mainly the shadow's precision and light intensity. Which one to use? It's a choice of personal taste, but after many hours of testing and playing with each, I can give you some recommendations on the optimal settings. If you want minimal noise, good performance and keep the looks of pure path tracing, then your best options are the following. Set bounce count to zero, samples per pixel to two, and add ASVGF as ray trace clone type. You can further improve the visuals by disabling post-process effects and by using reshade. Alright, it's time to compare the results. These are the vanilla graphics, everything on maximum, using ray tracing and the default filter. And this is using pure path tracing with zero bounces, two samples per pixel, ASVGF clone type. PT Sun Fix enabled and post-process filters turned off. The final look is achieved by using my updated reshade preset.
And that's it guys for now. Hope I could help you enhance your gaming experience. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. See you next time.